in every single CNN analysis of the electoral map, Hillary Clinton has started at or above the magic number of 270 electoral votes. That means irrespective of how the battleground states would break, she had enough electoral votes to secure the presidency. That is until today. David Chalian is over at the magic wall. And David, four big shifts in our labeling today, all of them moving towards Trump. That's right, Jake. Four moves towards Trump. This is the old map here. This is the new map that puts Hillary Clinton down at 268. Donald Trump still further behind at 204. We moved New Hampshire from lean blue to battleground. Ohio and Utah went from battleground to lean Republican, as did that congressional district up in Maine. And look at what this new map means for Donald Trump. Take a look. He needs to do a clean sweep of all the battleground states everything remaining on our map that is yellow. And that gets him to 269. He then has to win that one last battleground we have in Nebraska, the second congressional district there. If he can, can get that one electoral vote, he's at 270. Jake, that's a little different than Hillary Clinton's path on our new map. As you noted, she dropped just below 270. But let's see. Pick any state you want here. She only needs one. Let's go to the smallest one. New Hampshire, four electoral votes. That would put her back over the top. Hillary Clinton only needs to win one battleground. Donald Trump needs to sweep the map. That's the bath. His, his hill got less steep to climb, but it's pretty steep nonetheless. Hillary Clinton, she has to flip one battleground state, Jake. All right, David Chalian, thank you.